What's the white stuff called again? Perlite. Perlite? Another was it's volcanic a, ash. Uh, it's a, volcanic the perlite ash. is a is a it's a expanded volcanic glass. And the oh, vermiculite wow. is an expanded mica, and I think they actually have to heat the mica to get it to puff up, I'm not really sure. But that's, that's the stuff that looks like little accordions. And what does that do again? It holds in the moisture? Uh, and aerates it a little bit? Yeah, it's a, it provides a good aerated medium for the roots to grow into. It doesn't, it keeps them from getting too saturated. Because the roots, when the new roots when they're growing need a lot of air and not too much water, but they need to also have access to the moisture. And okay. so this medium provides a good mix of, of those two characteristics. That's a little bit much. I would pull out some of that. So you're saying that you you want to do that halfway? A little bit more than half. Okay. That's good. Yes, that's what we've been doing. All right. That, that's, that's pretty so good. what we're actually doing here is uh, we're taking cuttings and uh, rooting them, which is like, an, like a natural form of cloning. Let me see here, Sam. Oops, sorry. Sam and Ing are uh, putting those in there. We'd and these are the Pacific, dense, the so Pacific yeah. spinach. You'll probably get by with four pots of that instead of five. Okay. Okay, so this is one of the main methods that we use to propagate our plants, is to um, to root them uh, from cutting, and we'll cover them up with a bag, and uh, and encourage the root growth, and then we'll uh, dig them back up and separate them once they uh, start getting uh, the roots start to take. And so we're packing those in there a little bit more dense, because uh, some of them you can do that. You can put a lot of them in there. As long as we have enough volunteers and we dig them up in time so they're not too crazy.